Hi, my name is Jessie and welcome back to my channel. I listen to a podcast, I think, every day of the week. I really enjoy listening to them. I listen to a lot of podcasts on a lot of different subjects and something that I've been working on is listening to podcasts in my target learning languages. I'm trying to learn both Spanish and German. So I'm trying to listen to more podcasts that are in German and Spanish to help me just practice my language skills. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about three tips on how podcasts can help you learn a language. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, and this point is kind of obvious, but just podcasts can really help you with your listening skills. Your listening skills are one of the most important things that you can do when learning a target language. I think improving your listening skill is really important when learning a language because if you don't understand what the people are saying, then you can't really communicate. If you don't live in the country of your target language, it can be really hard to feel immersed in the language and really practice your listening skills. And that's why I really like podcasts. Podcasts allow you to listen to an authentic native person speaking their language. And I sometimes feel that the way people speak in a podcast is a bit more real than if you were watching a movie or watching the news or something like that. The hosts of podcasts are just normal people discussing different subjects and it often just feels like really real. Depending on the podcast, it could just sound like a normal conversation between two friends, which I think is a really valuable learning technique for just listening to how people speak to each other, what words they're using. And in terms of improving your listening skills, I personally don't worry too much if I understand it. Sometimes I just put on a podcast in the language that I'm trying to learn and I don't get too obsessed if I understand what they're saying. I just have it in the background and go about my day. And I like to think that the language is just there entering my brain and my brain is just getting used to how the language sounds. I think it's just good to, to try and integrate more of the language into your life and just get used to how it sounds. And maybe eventually over time, you'll start understanding what the people are saying. What's really great about podcasts is that you can listen to them over and over and over and you can pause it and take notes. Maybe you can write down a word that you don't understand or just listen to it over and over until you have a grasp of what they're actually saying. So podcasts can really help you improve your listening skills, whether you're a beginner and just want to get familiar with how the language sounds or whether you're advanced and are really just fine tuning your ear to understanding some of the more complex vocabulary and grammar structures. This leads me into my second point, which is choose podcasts on subjects that you are already interested in. So don't, don't find a podcast in the language you are trying to learn that discusses things that you don't know anything about. For example, I am from the United States and one podcast that I listen to is Germans discussing US politics. Because I'm from the States, I pay attention to the politics back home and I know I know what's happening. And, if, and when I listen to the podcast that's discussing US politics in German, I already know everything that they're saying. Like I know the information, I just haven't heard it in German yet. This literally allows me to learn the new vocabulary about things that I already know and I'm interested in. Because I already know the information in English, it helps me figure out what they are saying in German because it's a subject that I am familiar with. And if I was trying to listen to, you know, news about the politics for a country that I don't know anything about, I would struggle a lot more with understanding what the people in the podcast are saying. And that's why I recommend that you should listen to podcasts just about things that you already know and enjoy, and it will make the entire listening experience a lot more fun. All right, and my third and last point is find podcasts that are all about teaching a language. There are a lot of podcasts out there that are specifically trying to teach different languages. For example, I listen to several different podcasts in Spanish that are aimed towards people learning Spanish. One podcast that I listen to is international news in Spanish, but they really slow the Spanish down, so it's really easy for me to understand it. If I were to listen to a normal Spanish podcast that was giving the news, I wouldn't really understand what they're saying, but this podcast where they slow it down and aim it directly towards language learners really helps me practice my listening skills and helps me understand what they're saying because they present it to me in a really slow, easy to understand Spanish. Another podcast that I listen to that's aimed towards Spanish learners 
they discuss all things around Spanish. So sometimes an episode will go all around one verb and all the different ways you can use the verb, or sometimes they'll break down different expressions, or they'll teach you different cultural things. So these language learning podcasts are a great way for you to learn more about the culture of your target language, or just really help you focus in on certain expressions, vocabularies, or grammar structures in a podcast for the language learning podcast really like breaks it down and really explains different things to you that you might not get in a classroom, which is really great for learning or they teach you new things that you haven't learned before. And I find listening to podcasts really great. You can listen to it wherever you are, whether you're you know, in the subway or walking in the park or just at home cooking, you can listen to a podcast anywhere. So I find it a really easy way to integrate learning into your everyday life. Plus, if you subscribe to the podcast, it just shows up in my feed of like podcasts that are ready to listen to. If I want to listen to a podcast and I pull out the app and I just see the recently released episodes and I'll see one in like German or Spanish, it's just easy to remember that I should listen to that. So there you have it, my three tips for learning languages with podcasts. Podcasts can really help you learn more about the culture and society of the countries that speak the target language that you're learning. And listening to a podcast is really a fun, quick, and easy way to integrate more language learning into your everyday life. The podcasts that I listen to just show up with my other podcasts that I listen to in English, and it just shows up in my app, and it's an easy way to remember to practice that language. I find it hard to motivate myself to go sit down and study sometimes, but if listening to a podcast, because it just pops up on my like subscription feed, it's just is an easy way to integrate more language into my everyday life. And I really enjoy listening to all the podcasts and I've been learning a lot about German and Spanish and the different cultures. And I think it's just a fun and easy way to learn more. And I think everybody should listen to more podcasts in general. I really enjoy them. All right, we're coming to an end to this video. Please give it a like and comment below if you listen to podcasts or not. And if you have a podcast in German or Spanish that you would recommend me to listen to, please do tell me. I'm always looking for more podcasts to listen to. I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Ciao.